the community is changing a lot for the last 40 years. The reason I say that is another generation of people are doing things that we weren't doing back then. Prior to the arrival of the Europeans, it was said that Aboriginal people will have lost so much throughout history after the arrival of the new ones. Culture, lands, spirituality, family structures, and governing systems will all have been lost. In the era of the fourth, fifth, and sixth generations, the impacts of those losses would result in social chaos. Not only the young people, the parents also are not taking care of their kids. They don't tell them what is wrong and what is right. That's why they carry on to what they carry on, because nobody says nothing. But the next part is culture. They're losing their identity as, as, a, as a person. Because they don't know what. Families would be destroyed as children were pulled from their communities. The prophets foretold of those things. With the warning, steps were taken to ensure all would not be lost. One such effort was to take ceremonial practices underground where they were conducted in secret. During the time of uncertainty, individuals safeguarded the traditional practices and prepared the way for the future and for the seventh generation. According to the prophecy, it would be the seventh generation after the arrival of the Europeans who would rise up and fight for their inherent rights and reaffirm their sacred responsibility to protect Mother Earth. We respect the Earth, eh? Mother Earth, and um... need the best way I can, get educated, and you know, you know just uh, help make a better community for tomorrow. Respecting Mother Nature. The seventh generation is the youth of today. This generation would also witness family violence, suicide, alcohol and drug abuse, and low self-esteem. But our elders today tell our youth that these things are the result of a long, hard historical journey. And they say it will be the seventh generation who will come together to mend the broken circle and to restore the spirit of the people. As young people, we are told that we can make the change and engage in the work needed to restore balance and well-being in Aboriginal communities. But as youth, we are reminded not to be complacent, that action is needed to ensure the prophecy is fulfilled. We can talk about the prophecy, but to actually go and do it will make it happen.